Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal, work on the database SQL coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist and you want to start from the first video, I'll put a link in the description below so you can click that and go to the first video uh, in this series. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to the arcade, going to databases, and then we were getting through quite a lot of this, so we're on this section here between join and select, number 76 free seats. Alright, so you're working on a tech support team of, air, of an airline company and your boss has asked you to implement a feature that shows the number of available seats on every flight. Information about the airline is stored in three tables, flights, planes, and purchases respectively. The tables are structured as follows. So you got the flights, which has a flight ID and the plane ID, and then the planes, uh, that same plane ID from the flights. Uh, table and then the number of seats in that plane and then the purchases table has the flight ID uh, again the same from the flights table and the number of the seat number that was purchased. It's guaranteed that in the purchases table the pairs flight ID seat number are unique. With the information provided in the database you need to calculate the number of seats that are not yet purchased for each flight ID. Given tables, flights, planes, and purchases, build the table as follows. The resulting table should have the have columns, flight ID, and free seats, where for each flight ID, free seats is the number of seats that have not yet been purchased. The rows of the table should be ordered by flight ID in ascending order. It is guaranteed that the information in the table purchases can, is consistent and that there are no purchases for non-existing flight IDs or seat numbers. Okay. So for the following, is uh, tables of flights. This is an example. You got a flight ID, uh, the plane ID, and then on this plane table, you got that plane ID and the number of seats are around that plane. Apparently, these are pretty small planes. And then the purchases says uh, so someone purchased on flight ID uh, 111, uh, seat number one, and etc. So the output they want is flight ID and the number of free seats that are not taken. Uh, so like 87 here you can see two seats are taken and uh, let's see 87 is using 157 which has four seats so there would be two seats available uh, for flight ID 87. Alright, so let's go ahead and show how we might do this. So first thing uh, because they want the table output like this we're going to take flight ID from the flights table and we're also going to have this number of seats from the plane table and we're going to subtract off the taken seats which is going to be a count of the number of seats from the purchases table here per flight ID. Alright, so how do we figure out the number of taken seats? Uh, we're going to do a join here, so a, a subquery and we're going to select flight ID and we're going to count up the seat numbers from the purchases table, uh, group them by flight ID and that'll have the number of taken seats. So like I said in this purchases table 87 has two taken seats because there's two rows here. Uh, these two only have one taken seat. So that's going to give us a table by flight ID how many taken seats there are and we're going to join that to the flights table by the flight ID. Uh, we're going to do a left join because there's possible that for a flight ID there might not be any purchases yet. So then uh, that would not show up in this table because there would be no rows uh, for that flight ID. And then that's why we put this statement in here. So if we join left join the flights to the purchases table and there's no rows in the purchases table it's going to show null for that flight ID and so if it's null then we're going to instead change it to zero because there's no taken seats. Alright so that's how you get that and then the other join is we're joining to planes uh, based on the flight ID or sorry the plane ID uh, so you can see 111 has this plane ID of 128 and then 128 has five available seats. And you can see that 
different flight IDs can have the same plane ID because uh, different uh, flights could use, let's say, a 747 that have the same number of seats. All right, so we join that, and that gives us the number of seats available from that planes table. And we know from previous information that each plane ID is in this planes table, so we can do an inner join because we're not going to lose any information. And then they wanted us to order it by the flight ID, so we just order it by the flight ID uh, in an ascending manner. And that should be everything we need. And you can see the test pass. Um, so hopefully you guys are able to follow along with that and you join me for future videos. Thank you very much.